Levees are man-made earthen or concrete embankments built to hold back floodwaters. Many people associate levees with larger river systems, like the ones in the eastern U.S. But in fact, levees come in different sizes to fit different types of rivers, and they are common in every state. They range from massive structures designed to shield entire cities, to small private levees built by farmers to protect fields from occasional flooding. The presence of a levee in no way guarantees personal safety or property protection during a flood. The levee breach caused by Hurricane Katrina is a striking example of a devastating levee failure. Smaller but still damaging levee failures are not uncommon. There are over a hundred miles of levees in Utah. Two of the larger levee systems are in Utah County. The so-called airport levees protect the Provo Municipal Airport from occasional high water and wave surges in Utah Lake. Utah County's other levee system lines the Provo River from the mouth of Provo Canyon in Orem all the way to the river mouth in Utah Lake State Park. Beyond the levees lie homes, office complexes, shopping centers, and parks. The Provo River Parkway Trail is built right onto the spine of many levee sections, offering locals a place to ride, stroll, and fish. Levees helped protect Utah County during the 1983 flood. In that year, city and county workers and volunteers worked round the clock for weeks to save homes and property. But the water kept rising, threatening to overtop the levees. The Army Corps of Engineers helped raise and extend the levees while the floodwaters were still rising. We know that the Provo River will flood again. Localized superstorms that drop vast amounts of precipitation in a short amount of time are becoming more and more common. If a fire burns the slopes of nearby Provo or Rock Canyon and is followed by a heavy rainstorm, flooding is almost a certainty. Erosion and vegetation overgrowth on the levees increase the chances of failure over time. And as a result of new development in the last 40 years, the potential amount of damages from a major flood continues to grow. The Provo River levee system was not designed to be a permanent flood protection solution. But with reconstruction and careful maintenance, the Provo River levees could become sound enough to offer reasonable protection from most large floods. Provo City owns, manages, and maintains both the airport and river levee systems. They are actively working to address known deficiencies in structure and condition. More than ever, the communities located in Utah's floodplains need sound levees and other forms of mitigation to help protect both residents and property.